Thursday. It's the 21st of January, 2016, and this is Wayne Goldsboro Television. I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kate Daniel. Thank you very much for being here. It's Thursday, and we're on our way to a weekend. Oh, boy. Yay. Yay. One more day, and the uh, Red Cross blood drives abound. They're yes. all over the place. They all right. are. Now, there's a blood drive tomorrow, the 22nd, over uh -huh. here at St. Luke Church, right? No, at St. Paul United Methodist Church. I just want to make sure you were listening. I was listening at St. Paul United Methodist Church. Okay. There is one coming up at St. Luke at some point. Some point. Um, right. but, but, but not right now. <laughs> and then the following week, if that date doesn't work for you, you can go over to Wayne Christian, yeah. which is going to be Thursday, January 28th. And um, this blood drive is uh, uh, raising awareness um, for Will Gibson. He is a student at Wayne Christian. He is a very special young man. Um, and he's going through um, treatments here. Um, since late last year, and uh, and so if you've needed a reason to, to get out and give blood, think about this young man. Makes sense. It makes That's sense. Yes, and his they need all the help is, they can get. His family is wanting to help make a difference, yeah. um, and and you know make a difference because blood shortages are uh, at record highs, lows, highs, highs. They have record record need for blood, blood. shortages are blood high. shortages are high thank That's you right. for that okay. blood That's shortages okay. are high okay. and it's typical for for the holidays people get very busy yeah. and start in the new year and so it becomes less of a priority but we've talked about this many times yes. um, nobody wakes up in the morning and thinks I'm gonna have a tragic accident or a friend of mine or a family member or somebody from across the country or down the street is going to need it for cancer treatment. So the need is always there um, year round. Uh, I was not good over the holidays. I did not. Um, and, and now that I'm talking about it, I need to do a better job. How often can you give blood? Every 56 days. Every 56 days. So I will, you know what I'm going to do now that we're talking about this and call myself out on TV, I'm going to do a better job of marking mm -hmm. in my calendar just mm -hmm. so it'll be top of mind awareness. I will be giving blood um, at the St. Paul uh, United Methodist Church blood drive. I had signed up for that several months ago. Good for you. And keep in mind that uh, there's an easy way to figure that. You don't have to count yeah. the calendar, count 56 days. You just go two months. Today is uh, yeah. Today is the 21st of, Ju of January. <laughs> 21st of January, which means that uh, in uh, two months minus four days, you'll be eligible again. If you gave blood today, Right. Then uh, on March 21st, minus four days, you'd be able to. Mm -hmm. So make it th minus three days just to make sure you're within the, yeah. the window, the, r the right side win right size window, uh, to give blood again. It's an That's easy right. way to remember. So just mark it on your calendar and then look for the next blood drive and sign up for that one. That's right. Easy to do. Easy breezy. Here's today's trivia question okay. for today. The category is ethnic food. Okay. Here's the question. Oh, boy. Risotto. Okay. Risotto is a rice ditch dish. <laughs> it's quite delicious. In the ditch, yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, risotto is a rice dish which originated in what country? Don't give it away. I'm not. Okay. Okay. As I said, all you have to do is think about it, is listen to the name of this one. Think about it. Risotto is a rice ditch dish which originated <laughs> in what country? <laughs> And we'll have the answer for you after the break, okay? After okay. the next interview. Now, Great. All right. All right, we covered that. Oh, yes, today's uh, is, today is a special day because today is another day. It's another day. It is another day. Ticking on by. Uh-huh. Well, I'll tell you what. Oh. It's, uh, let me just mention. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, coming up in just a moment or two, we have a special guest that we'll be interviewing. And you'll find out who that is in a moment. Great. You've had mm -hmm. some great lineups already this year. Uh, they've been great already. They've, they've yeah. been great. Yeah. And if, um, you know, if there's something that you would like to see on the show, email. Email Wayne or myself for some suggestions. Um, it may be you. It may be somebody you know. It may be something that you know is going on in the community, and we'll see if it fits um, in, in the lineup of a show and, and be able to bring that information to you. All right, very good. And we're getting ready to go to our interview, but when we come back, I'll have the answer to the trivia question, and I will tell you about dropping your cell phone, which everybody does, but it's where you drop it that's going to be interesting about this story. All right, we'll be back.
Today we talk with Matt Whittle, and Matt is the Director of Habitat for Humanity. Matt, how you doing? Pretty good. How are you doing, Matt, sir? Matt, it's good to see you good again. Good to see you. Doing yes, okay? Sir. Absolutely. Did you have a good holiday? I had a great holiday. It was fantastic. Wonderful. And I know the ReStore was really busy during the it holiday was. period. It I went was. by a couple of times. Fantastic. And, uh, and it is fantastic. I, in fact, I was in a couple of days ago again looking for things. Well, we appreciate it. Every time somebody yeah. stops in, it helps us build another house. Uh, oh, or or it helps us work toward building another house. Toward, yeah, and, uh, and let's explain that. In case somebody is new to the area, they've been living in a cave for the last 20 years or so, what is Habitat for Humanity? Habitat for Humanity is a program where we provide uh, low to moderate income folks in Wayne County right. with a path toward home ownership. Uh, mm -hmm. we, give, we, we give them the opportunity to uh, enter, enter our program uh, where we build the house uh, at cost uh, for them. Um, and we sell it uh, typically at a 0% interest. And uh, that way, uh, families are able to uh, access a, a simple, uh, well-built, uh, simple, affordable home. It is not a giveaway program. It is not a giveaway program. They have to buy the house. Mm -hmm. They have to be approved credit-wise. Right. They have to meet a lot of standards and right. criteria. Absolutely. Plus, they have to help build it. Right. They, we, we require 300 hours of sweat equity. Um, and essentially, what that means is uh, they have to spend those 300 hours um, helping to build uh, their house, helping to build the houses of the people in mm -hmm. line ahead of them. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes they spend some time in the restore volunteering. So if you're in there buying, I think you said you bought some golf clubs. I bought some golf clubs. Um, the other you day. might have seen some of the homeowners in there. Uh, I that may day. have. There was a um, lot of people. In yeah, there. yeah. Typically, if you're in the restore, they have on uh, red shirts that say homeowner. Yeah. Um, or if you're out volunteering ever at a job mm -hmm. site, uh, the homeowners are the ones with the red shirts that say homeowner. So yeah. And just as a side note here, very quickly, I'm not a golfer, but I did buy a couple of golf clubs <laughs> for a particular reason. That's yet to come. But uh, Matt, uh, uh, again, we want to explain that uh, this is a fantastic program, very successful here in Wayne County. Uh, been going for many years now. Mm -hmm. We built how many houses? Uh, we are actually getting ready to close on our 67th and 68th houses. Wow. Um, and we should be starting our uh, 69th and 70th houses um, here within a couple weeks. That is just fantastic. And I know and I've seen uh, these new homeowners once they start and, and put their own 300 hours into their own house, they immediately say, oh, I want to help somebody else. Absolutely. I want to do this. I want to do that. They, they get all excited. It, it, get it's, it. We call it a, the Habitat family for a reason because um, the, the vast majority of our homeowners, uh, even once they're done with the program, they, they're, they're still around. They're still providing meals to other volunteers. Yeah. Um, they're still coming out to the restore to volunteer. You'll see them on construction sites. Uh, from time to time, and, and, and we, we try and stay in touch with them as best as we can, and, and that it's a family for a reason, because it's, it's a long journey that they go through and creates a really good partnership. I uh, didn't mean to sideline you right off the bat, but you had to be here for a reason today. What are we talking about? Let's talk about something. I um, just wanted to talk about the, uh, the Restore a little bit. Uh, yeah. This is the new year. Obviously, folks uh, coming off the holidays, yeah. um, if they, uh, get, you, got, you got Christmas presents? I did. Well, you got to do something with the stuff to the, that you got the that presents replace. to replace. Yeah, you know, you're so right about bring that. bring it by the store. Uh, we're always, uh, we accept donations uh, Monday through Friday at the store um, and, and on Saturdays um, uh, from 9 to 3 at the store. Um, anytime the store is open, you can drop them off. Mm -hmm. uh, furniture, construction materials, mm -hmm. home goods, clothes, toys. Look, um, you electronics. Could, you, could, you could build a whole house. You really could. Out of, out of the restore. You really could. You, you, you absolutely could furnish it. That, 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 you have uh, flooring. Flooring. You have plumbing supplies. Plumbing supplies. You have, have paint. Ele yeah, electric, uh, paint, and all this. You have, it's, and golf clubs. And golf clubs. It's, it's loaded. everything you, you need. you got everything right? you need, yeah. You know, the furniture's nice. And talk about books. Now, if you're a reader and you enjoy reading something solid mm -hmm. besides a screen, and you're talking about books, you guys have got hundreds and hundreds of books in outstanding condition. At how much? Um, cheap. Cheap. I, I, to be <laughs> honest, I, I, I just blanked on the I price. Know, I but but, but, I do. You, but a, every Wednesday, you get five for a dollar. Really? You get five books for a dollar every Wednesday. So uh, that's that, that's the deal right there. You can't you can't beat that deal anyway. And we're talking James Patterson. We're talking all the all the all the big writers, and these are all great books. And some have a little age, and some are relatively new. It's just you don't know what you're going to find out there. It's just it's, it's, it's a gold a, It's mine. a treasure hunt. Every it time really you go is. in there, it's a treasure hunt. It sure hunt. is, man. The, the ReStore is a fantastic place. But where is it? It's on uh, uh, 124 East Mulberry Street, so right downtown, uh, right across from the, uh, the back parking lot of the City Hall Annex. City Hall, that's right. Just right across the street there from the City Hall Annex. Yeah. Yes, easy sir. to find. Very easy to find. Yeah. So, uh, but now your office is on Walnut Street. Our office, the, the, the administrative office, is at 131 uh, East Walnut Street. Mm -hmm. So uh, just around the corner. Um, and uh, uh, we're, we're open, of course, Monday through Friday. And, and, and really what we're, this time of year, what we're looking for is uh, anybody who, who's interested in entering the program. Um, anybody who, who's interested in becoming a homeowner. Um, or if somebody knows somebody that wants to become a homeowner, 
um, send them our direction. We're, right. we accept, we're accepting applications all the time. And uh, as we process through them, it takes about a, the initial process takes about a week or two uh, to, to, to look at the initial information and then to enter the, uh, the full application process. All right. Family Shoe Store's or store is on the corner, and you go up a little bit, a couple of doors from there. Yeah, just one door. Up. One, oh, you're right next door. One door, right next to Family Shoe. Right next shoe. door. So right next to the shoe store, they're on Walnut Street. Yeah, absolutely. All right. And uh, what's that phone number? Uh, the office number is 919-736-9592. Uh, 736-9592. Uh, and we've been talking with Matt Whittle, who is director of the Habitat for Humanity. Matt, come see us again. Bring Absolutely. us new information yes, about sir, the I houses will. and everything. We will. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Today we're at the Arts Council of Wayne County on John Street, corner of John and Walnut Street in downtown Goldsboro. And look who's here. It's <laughs> Sarah Merritt. Hey. hey, how are you? I'm hey. doing great. You look great. Thank what a, you. So do you. Well, it's great to have you uh, back with us again. Yes. It's been a while, but I'm glad, you're, glad you're speaking with us today. Yes. Now, everybody loves a mystery. Hmm. Yes. Right? Yes, they do. And we want to talk about a mystery that's coming to the Arts Council right here. Yes. And this is a fantastic idea. Wait till you hear about this. Tell me about what, what, what is this mystery thing? Huh? Okay, well, this is a fundraising event that the mm -hmm. Arts Council puts on once a year. It's called Mystery Masterpieces, and this year it will take place on Friday, February 5th. Um, it's in conjunction with our First Friday event. Uh, and it's just a really fun event that incorporates the community and all of our talented artists in our community. Okay. So what we do is we ask artists to decorate six by six canvases and um, we try to collect about 150 canvases over the course of a couple months. Six by six mm -hmm. canvases, little, six little by small six. paintings. Yeah, little small masterpieces. Really nice. And uh, so we have a lot of artists that get involved with this fun event and we collect all the masterpieces and we number them randomly. Mm -hmm. And so the night of the event, when people come in, they'll be hung uh, on the wall in the gallery. So it looks really cool to oh, see yeah. all these same size works of art, but, but they're all very different looking, hanging together. Uh, and then the public gets involved by buying a ticket or two or three or ten for, a master, for masterpieces. Right. So a uh, ticket for one masterpiece is $30, and a ticket for two masterpieces is 50 so you get a little bit of a discount right. if you buy two. Good. And uh, you come the night of the event, when you come in with your tickets for however many masterpieces tickets you've bought, purchased, um, you draw a number. And then after you know, everybody kind of gets here, we start announcing um, wh which masterpiece corresponds to the number you've drawn. So if you draw number 53, you get the masterpiece with number oh, 53 on okay. it. okay. So um, it's really very random. We like to call it an art lottery. And it's just a very, very fun night um, and a fun way to support the Arts Council's programs because, as you know, most of our programs are free and accessible to everybody in the community. And it's also a great way to highlight the talent of all of our local artists mm, and yes. just get everybody involved. And people don't have to have a ticket to come and view the, we would call it the who done it when you <laughs> find out who done it. Um, but they do, if they want to go home with a work of art, they do need to, or two or three, they do need to Hopefully. make sure they buy tickets for the actual masterpieces. Okay, let me make sure I understand this now. They, they will uh, buy the tickets in advance. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then they, when they get here, then they draw in from the, they, from, from, a, the they, from the big bucket, they draw the a bucket. number. Okay. And, and what, then, well now then can they look at the wall and see what the number oh, is? No, no, that we, that we know what the numbers are oh. and all of the masterpieces are numbered on the back. So oh. for example, this one is 18. Mm. But um, we know the numbers, but we wait until we kind of get the tension going and get the, you know, get the mystery going. And then we have a diagram of, the, of all the masterpieces, so we know which ones, right. what, what number. They're not hung in, in order of number. They're not hung in any kind of order. Is it random? It's very random. So, so you could pick number 53, and if you try to count, you don't, <laughs> you're yeah. not going to be right. So you can't even try to guess. So when you pick a number out of the bucket, 
Yes. And you have no idea what number you have, or you know the number, but you don't know to the which the, masterpiece, the, which masterpiece it corresponds ah, with. Yes. Boy, this sounds like fun. It is. It's very fun, and people get really get into it. I love to watch it. It's very fun to watch too. And then at the end of the night, sometimes you have people. You know, we've had masterpieces that somebody. You know, I'm trying to think. We had one one year. It was a cat that looked just like somebody's cat. That person didn't get that particular masterpiece, but um, after it was all said and done, that person exchanged masterpiece with for, of the cat with you know, so she had a picture of her cat. So well, there can be a little wheeling and dealing yes, after the fact. Yes, there's a little bit. Definitely, that's exactly right. It's wheeling and dealing, and that all does right. happen afterwards. Well, that's great. Yes, yes, it's very fun. And there's a hundred. You're looking for a hundred and fifty or more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. masterpieces yes. to put on the wall here. Yes. And if there are any left over at the end of the night, which sometimes there's a few, mm. um, you can purchase them for $25. So, um, you know, anything that's left hanging on the wall, uh, your people are welcome to wait until after we get everybody's masterpiece to them right. and then they can go ahead and purchase those and the, the other thing is is you don't have to be present to be a part of this event you can still buy tickets and the Arts Council staff will draw your number randomly for you and pull your masterpiece and you can pick it up or we'll deliver it to you after the event and wow. that, that following week so it's just a really really it's just something different well, and, I love it. And I, I love it because idea. it supports our programs yeah. and people get to go home with a memento or um, a, a little masterpiece yes. to, or two as a memory of the night. And so it's, it's a win-win for everybody. Obviously, this is not the first masterpiece that's been done. No, this, this is, 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 we started it in 2012. So this oh. is going to be our... Third or fourth? Third. It's actually our third, third because third. we used to do it in October and we moved it to February okay. this year right. just because of some scheduling. Yeah, so. Okay, and what are the dates on this? This is February 5th from, okay. um, and it's in conjunction with First Friday so people can come at 5 yeah, o'clock. We'll, we'll start um, announcing the, or drawing the masterpieces and, and um, handing them out at about 6.30. So, um, okay, so, so how yeah. does someone... Uh, get tickets and become a part of this that's um, so people can uh, call the Arts Council 919-736-3300 mm -hmm. you can purchase tickets over the phone and we'll just hold them for you at the door or you can stop in to our wonderful facility and um, talk to any one of our staff members and we'd be glad to sell you some tickets uh, can you uh, get tickets the night of the event if you have if any there are left? some left Is last time left? last time we did the last masterpiece mystery masterpieces we did not have any any tickets left. Really? So, wow. yes. Wow. So, that is um, wonderful. Yeah, because we know we have space isn't huge, but um, so we can't yeah. pack people in like sardines either. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, it's a wow. great night and it's uh, just a something different to do. This is excellent. All yeah. right. Very good. Sarah Merritt of the Arts Council of Wayne County. If you have any questions, that number is 919-736-3300. Yes, that's it. 919-736-3300. And online, it's artsinwayne.org. Is that right? That is right. There you go. So what else do we need to know and pass along? Anything at all? Oh, just come in and check out. We have so many things going on here. It's... Yeah. I could spend two hours with you well, I, I know <laughs> but let's talk about you have a gift shop over here we do we have our art market um, mm. which is a really uh, wonderful place for people to shop downtown uh, we represent a little bit I don't know the exact number right now but I think it's upwards of about 70 local artists wow. um, and so that's another great thing when you shop the art market you're supporting the Arts Council's programs but you're also supporting artists in our community and so that's another win-win and, and we the art markets open six days a week um, Monday through Wednesday 9 to 5 and Thursday and Friday 9 to 7 and Saturday from 2 to 7 so right. um, we have anything from you know gifts from two dollars all the way up so beginning at two dollars yes wow. all the way up so two dollars and up something for everybody in and the these market. are many are in fact all are unique works, works yes, of art they are They're all unique works of mm -hmm. art so you spend two dollars for something which is really a great price mm -hmm. and you can go up and spend as much as you like we hope yes. you do <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, yes. And, um, you know, it's just a great place to buy unique gifts. And if you're looking for something for your Valentine, it's especially nice, oh, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because it's personal. It's something that's handmade, and a lot of love and care went into it. And right. so it's just something different. 
Wow, 919-736-3300, artsinwayne.org. Yep. It's February 5th, and it's a mystery. Yes, and it's it going to be a lot of fun. Thank you. It will you. be revealed on the 5th. Oh, yes, there you go. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. And we are back on Wayne Goldsboro Television. Thank you for being here today, the 21th of January. And if you think about it, no, don't even think about it. Don't even think about don't it. Don't think about it. March 21st is the first day of spring, and that's only 60 days away. Think about that. All right. Now, we've been very fortunate this year mm -hmm. in that uh, we've had some cold weather of late in the last few weeks, but we were warm up until, the, uh, right. until New Year's. That's right. Yeah. That's so right. it has not been a tough year weather-wise for our part of the world. Right. Other parts of the country, get out of here. It's been, it's been wild, it it's been, been wild. Been and I hope it means we'll have a calm rest of the winter. Um, it has been a very tough year for our farmers. Yes. Um, just a really devastating year oh, with yeah. so much rain uh, in the middle and later part of last year. Yeah. I mean, it's been, it's been devastating. It so been. Um, hoping 2016 will prove to be an easier year for our great friends that are farmers. Exactly. Exactly. And I'm counting on that. Yeah. In fact, we are going to make a big push on uh, getting interviews and information from our Cooperative Extension Office. Great. With uh, Tyler Whaley, the, uh, the uh, crops, field crops agent, with, uh, of course, uh, uh, Jessica Strickland, mm -hmm. the horticulture agent, with uh, 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 Kevin Johnson. Kevin Johnson, who I don't know what he does. He He's just, the he executive director. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what he does. <laughs> And then we've got the uh, Stephanie Garbacic, who is the uh, uh, livestock agent there, and Michelle and others, and Lewis as well, and many other people out there. Anyway, we're going to have them all on it sometime here in the next Great. few weeks. Great. And several times, in fact. Okay. Embarrassing things we all do, and here's why. Number three, dropping your cell phone. Dropping your cell phone on, it, on its own may not be embarrassing, but dropping it in the toilet is embarrassing. <laughs> in the toilet one out of five people can you believe wow. this? one out of five people one out of five have apparently dropped their phone into the toilet and the answer to the question is why because 75 percent of americans admit that they have used their cell phones in the bathroom Ew. to do everything from playing games and surfing the internet to making or receiving phone calls 75 percent one out of four do this in the bathroom one out of five, drop it in the toilet. The toilet? <laughs> Sorry. If toilet. Please don't ever call me if you're in the bathroom. Yeah. So I should not be in the bathroom. Hello? Kate? Yeah. I'm in the toilet. Oh, sorry, wrong number, buddy. Wow. Okay. Very right, interesting. Very I, interesting. I, I thought it might be. Yeah. Uh, here's the answer to today's trivia question for today. The question was. Risotto is a rice dish which originated in what country? And the answer is... What is it? Italy. <laughs> Paisan. Italy. Risotto. Italian. Risotto. Yeah, Italian. Risotto. Kimo sabi? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That's not Italian, is it? It's not Italian. <laughs> no. It sounds Italian, but it's not Italian. Risotto is Italian. Anything can sound Italian. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. Okay. Doggone it, I've lost it again. <laughs> it was right here. Always you know, I right didn't, I didn't, there. Yeah, it's always right here. Always right I, there. I didn't have, oh, here it is. Oh, 21st of the month. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Today is National Hugging Day. Oh, hug a friend. Aww. <laughs> That's wonderful. Isn't that nice? It's um mm -hmm. it's also <laughs> Squirrel Appreciation Day. Hug a squirrel. Hug a squirrel. That's hug good. Squirrel. I like that. I like that. It's also Women's Healthy Weight Day. Oh. Uh-huh. It is that. And and that's uh, if you have anything to celebrate, uh, there you go. My um in my parents' bathroom. They have an old, uh, it's, it's an old comic, okay, that I don't know how old it is, but it is old. And they have matted it and framed it. And really? It's in their bathroom. Oh, and it's 
Really, 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 really cute. Okay. So they have scales on the floor in their right. bathroom, and it, it hangs on the wall above it. And it's a picture of two small children, and they're standing, they're standing over a scale, and they're looking at it. And the caption says, it doesn't look that scary. Because <laughs> I'm sure they've heard their mother say, I'm not going over there. I'm not getting on that scale. That is funny. That oh. is funny. Funny, funny. Funny, funny. What's funny, funny. Hey, funny. We got it tomorrow is Thursday. We got tomorrow. Friday. And it's been a short week work-wise for us. Yeah, because we weren't here Monday, of course, because of the uh, Martin Luther MLK Jr. holiday observance. Yes. Yes. So, uh, tomorrow is um friday the 22nd friday that's right friday that's right that's right i'm glad you what have you been reading the calendar i have been good good, good. okay don't forget the 20 the 31st and the 4th 31st the malpas brothers that's chris and taylor malpas and band will be performing at the paramount theater and if you have any questions you can go to 583 no that's not right yeah, let's try that one. Five eight three eight five right. three four eight five four three. Excuse me, I had it backwards. Five four three. Is that the Paramount Theaters? Paramount the Theater is uh, is uh, nine one nine five eight three. It doesn't sound right for some reason. It doesn't think, sound right. It doesn't, does it? Don't listen to him with Don't that. Don't listen to me like you that. You can email us, yeah, or, or you can go online to goldsboroughparamount uh, dot com in downtown Goldsboro or doesn't the Chambers right. website, and we'll make sure we get the right number. I used to know the number. I know well, you know all kind. Well, you know too many numbers. This man literally knows the number of countless businesses and organizations. Well, there's it's only quite you speaking. know like nine or ten to start. You anyway, are wild. Okay, you I'll are just that is let's, wild. Let's come back tomorrow. I tell you how you can find how it. Download find my it? chamber app. Yeah. Um, for free, literally go to Apple Store and type in My Chamber app. It will find your location as Wayne County. Voila, you have 576 businesses, their contact information, their website. If they offer military discounts or other specials, it's at your fingertips. So there's a little plug for that. My Chamber app. Voili. Voila. Yeah, voila. 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 Yeah. I guess that's it for today. Okay, we're going to come back tomorrow. We'll be back on Friday the Two Tooth. 22nd of the month of okay. January. Okay, and there's only like a week or so left in the whole month. Woo! I know. Anyway, we hope you're able to join us tomorrow. And uh, we'll, it'll be a show kind of like this, but we'll be using <laughs> different words, I hope. I hope we do. Anyway, uh, have a great day. And join us again tomorrow at 7 a.m. noon and 5.30 p.m. Until then, I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kate Daniels. And this is Wayne Goldsboro Television.